Good morning! I hope you're all doing well today. Our morning expression today, our contemplative meditation time is going to be based on 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Because every day we need to put our minds on those things that are good and lovely and of high um, of good report and things that are positive there's always going to be some negatives in our lives and right now there's a crisis going on and we're all being affected by it but I just want to remind you of one of God's truths today found in 1st Thessalonians 5 let's read it together it says rejoice always pray without ceasing in everything, give thanks, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Now, this scripture is not saying that everything that happens is God's will. Because Jesus came that we'd have life and we'd have it abundantly. So, we don't want to accuse God of doing things that the enemy is doing, of the, of the difficult things that are coming into our lives. That, I mean, the devil came to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus came that we would have life. But what he's saying, in everything, give thanks. Because there's always, always something to be thankful for, even in the midst of the storm. I'm not thankful for a virus that's killing people and making people sick. But I am thankful that in this time of the virus, that there's lots of creativity coming out. There's people... Um, working together in new ways and in better ways. It's causing people to reflect on what life is really all about. So even in hard times and really bad times, there's always things that we can give thanksgiving for. So that's our contemplation today. Our meditation is in everything, give thanks. In everything, give thanks. So what I want you to do is get some paint and you want to, let me get the camera a little bit closer here, sorry. <laughs> we'll get the technology figured out one of these days. Okay, so make you a nice palette of paint of bright colors, bright, cheerful, colors that you think of when you think of flowers okay and then you might want to get some white and some black or brown if you want and remember that you can use markers you can use crayons you can use Posca pens um, just use anything that you can find color pencils any kind of paint works good so what we're going to do first of all is we are going to get focused in here. Be sure you can see that. You know, I will get this figured out eventually on the best way to video this. But you'll just have to put up with me for right now. Thank you. So the first thing we're going to do is just take a pencil and I want us just to depict ourselves, imagine ourselves. Let's just take a breath for a second too. Let's just relax for a minute. Just let everything go. Everything that's on your mind, just let it go right now in Jesus' name. What I want to do right now is I want you to visualize yourself lifting your hands up. And don't tell me you can't draw. We can all draw. And it doesn't matter. This can be very abstract. And if you want to get really realistic with it, you can, of course. But I'm just drawing like a silhouette paper doll kind of figure. But you can represent yourself any way you like 
But I want us to draw ourselves at the bottom of the page with our hands raised in thanksgiving because the focus of our meditation today is to be thankful and to be grateful. And I'm not even going to draw the hands and you'll see why in a minute. And if you want to just leave it just like a black silhouette, you can do that. Or if you want to put some hair on the person, on you, sorry. You want to put some hair on there. And you want to put some eyes on there. It's a mouth. Uh, you can. You don't have to. So I think I'm going to go ahead and outline it. I want you to begin thinking about things that you are grateful for today. We're going to start today where we're at. And then we're going to work our way back in time. Right now, we're just going to start right here today. And I made myself with my mouth open because I am giving thanksgiving to God. So what we're going to do is as we think of things that we're thankful for, we're going to say them out loud. And you say what you're thankful for. I'm going to, I'm going to demonstrate, but you say what you're thankful for. And we're going to take our paintbrush or your marker or your fingers, if you want to paint with your fingers. And we're going to make flowers. But they don't have, they can look like flowers or they can just be dots of paint. They can be lines of paint. They can be whatever you want. And we're just going to cover, cover the whole top half and anywhere else you want to put with things that you're thankful for. So let's just begin. What are we thankful for today? I am thankful for... I want you to say it out loud, too. I'm thankful for the daffodils that are blooming right now. I'm thankful for the birds I hear. I'm thankful for the sunshine. I'm thankful for fresh air. I'm thankful for being able to go outside. I'm thankful that we have technology. I can hear my and see my grandchildren laughing and playing and acting silly. I'm thankful for my family. Each one, all my grandkids. My sister. Sisters. My mom, my daughters, thankful for spring. Grass is turning green. I'm 
thankful for a husband that is willing to go to work every day, day after day. I'm thankful that he will get to retire this year. for our farm. Thankful I have a place to paint and do art. Thankful I live in a free country. Thankful that we're so blessed with freedoms in this time of having to be somewhat restricted. It's a good reminder of how many countries live, have to live all the time. Lots of restrictions. We're so blessed. Thankful for my car. Right now, I'm not getting to go very many places, but we're so, I'm so blessed to have it. I'm so grateful for what I do. Like I said, don't think about it too much. This is not supposed to be some like masterpiece. Of course, it may turn out really cool. But it's mainly just to get us to meditate on the goodness of God and what he's put in our lives, the amazing, beautiful, wonderful things that he's put in our lives that we can be grateful for continuously. Grateful for my big yard. Grateful that I can get outside and walk around. Grateful for my friends. People who love and care about me. Remember, you're not just listening to me. Say what it is that you're thankful for as you work. Like I said, you can do just thoughts, whatever you wish. Let's just make a whole bouquet of thanksgiving to God. Thankful that I have food to cook. Thankful for electricity and technology. It's so great. If you want to, you can start going back in time. Just things that you're thankful for when you look back at over your life. What are some things that you are grateful for? I'm grateful that I was raised in a home of love. Not perfection, but love. And that they loved God. I love God, and they taught me, taught me about God. Really appreciate that. They also live such beautiful lives of creativity. 
I am thankful that my dad was always so interested in so many things. Gardening. Many things created an interest in me as well. He loved to make things. But he also cared about people. He was not prejudiced against people of different race or different color or different economic situations. And I didn't really know what a blessing that was until I got older. Just so glad that my parents taught me the beauty and the love for all people. I'm grateful for Dad that taught me how to do so many things. Remodeling old houses, using tools. Not being afraid to try new things, always encouraging me to try. Thankful for a mom who was always encouraging even when she really wasn't sure I'm sure she was not sure about some of my ideas and different things but she did not discourage me in my creative ventures even as an adult I just appreciate that so much Grateful I grew up in small town America. I'm grateful for a mom who cared about older people. I can remember going and helping them clean their houses and different things. I'm so grateful that she loved people like she did, or does. I'm thankful my mom is still living. I'm thankful I met a husband who loves God too. Loves me, my kids, my grandkids. Thankful for my son in laws. Their jobs, their work. You could paint yourself however you want, but I think I'm going to just use black. You can go ahead and just keep on calling out those things that you're thankful for.
even in this weird time of separation from people, I'm really thankful to have time to do things that I normally don't make the time for. Should have done it in reverse, huh? Didn't think about that. Thankful for color. I'm so glad that God created a world that is full of color and detail and so many things to explore and discover. How complex things are. You know, just to look at the animals or the flowers or anything. It's just amazing. Like last night was the uh, super moon where it supposedly was closer to us than it ever gets. And it was beautiful. It's really grateful to get to see that. I'm grateful for my health and my strength. Yes, you can just um, do dabs of colors. You can do some that are real specific with detail. Or it can just all be full of dots. you can just keep overlapping too. And remember, this is not a painting class. This is a meditation with visual. You know, sometimes when I think about being grateful for things, I actually go through my whole body and think, God for each of my body parts. I'm so thankful for God for, you know, my brain. Thankful for all the nerves in my body that work together. I'm thankful for my bones. My muscles. Thankful for my digestive system, my heart, my lungs, 
They're so incredibly and wonderfully made. It is just crazy how all of our body functions. Thankful for the amazing plans that God has for us, each one of us. He created us with purpose. And with meaning, we can be a part of the story. He's got so much more for us. amazing God. I'm glad. I'm thankful that he is a God of love. Okay, so we don't take uh, too long. So I could, we can go on and on and I want you to continue. But so that the video doesn't get too long, the next thing I would do <clears throat> is I would write um, in everything give thanks on here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to write in everything give thanks. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 And then I'm going to go ahead and add more thanksgiving to it. And you can continue to add yours as well. And if you're going to write on top of your paint, you want to be sure and dry it a little bit. So that you don't ruin your marker. You know what? I was going to write in white, but I think I'm just going to write with this. And, of course, you don't have to write on it either. That's that's up to you. But I think I'm going to. I'm going to write right here. In every thing. Give thanks. And of course you can write it neat and orderly. I just thought I would do that same vertical lifting it up to God. And I'll put the reference on here. First Thessalonians 5. 18. There you go. In everything, give thanks. This is an activity you could do over and over again. And as you put the beautiful splashes of color, it's your thanksgiving to God. You're lifting up your praise to Him and building a beautiful bouquet of thanksgiving. May God bless you today. And may you feel his love and his presence. Bye for now.